How will off-premise dining evolve in Europe over the next five years? Where will we be in five years' time? Yeah, once again, of course, a bold question. I just can, can let's say, put my personal estimation in. So one thing for sure is that um, we saw an acceleration in the off-premise dining during the COVID period, um, which was exceptional because it was new and something started and everybody wants to be a part of it. So the acceleration, in my opinion, is slowing down a little bit, but I, I definitely see that food delivery and off-premise dining is there to stay. And, well, just give you an example. My father, he's, he's, he's mid-70 years old, and even he's now using an app to order some food, and, and, and once he finds out how easy it is and he gets his food delivered, he's doing it again and again. So this is nothing which is only for young people. I think once you... Once you tasted the apple, uh, you know, you got it. But the question is, and this is my, my main question, how much space is left for new players? This is something we will see. So let's say the traditional ghost kitchen model, like web order, virtual brand, pick up delivery, we have it. Yeah? The question is, there is here and there some spots left where there maybe are not too many established players, but we have it. The question, what's next? As I, as I believe, I believe the, the integration of pick up solutions will most probably be, be more, imagine train stations or airports or whatever, where you, you, we got these concepts already in many places of the world. I see this more coming. Um, we have to see how classical, how classical catering, in, uh, business catering canteens, how they will be affected. Will they also become food deliverers for other solutions? I mean, hashtag home office, there's a lot still to do. Um, I also believe that we need well, they, I hope that there will be some exceptional new developments offering more experience. Because let's say getting a, getting a mediocre burger and a pizza, no problem, we can do everywhere. But what could be the next step to create an experience for the customer, which still, and this is the big challenge, which still earns some money in the concept. Yeah? And we, all, we all can die in grace, but ultimately it should also be a concept which is sustainable, which is working. So... We see some exciting concepts at the moment with um, mobile kitchen buses cooking on the way or cooking in front of your house, delivering uh, fine dining products to you, which is great from a customer experience. And I like the idea, but I'm still concerned if this will be a really money-earning concept on the long run. So this is what we have to see. Um, there is no black and white. There will be some gray zones. I think that some, some players like caterers or retailers, they will definitely go into that business. That's my prediction for the next years. But off-premise dining and food delivery is there to stay. It will stay. Um, I don't believe we have seen the peak yet, but it, it will, of course, not rise forever. At a certain point, it will stabilize and we'll have some established players. And these brands maybe will be the new, I don't know, McDonald's and Burger Kings of the future. We never know. So this is where new players will establish themselves.